My name is DeMoss. Real Life Matters is a show that features real people with real matters. I also don't let you know today that I have a power packed inspired show that has entertainment. We have business issues. We have all types of things going on here today. So I have here in the studio again, and we had to bring him back, you know, no other than millionaire investor Daniel Chin. Welcome. Thanks for having me, the boss. It's a great place. Uh, I love the energy. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I know, and you know, and he is a millionaire investor, Daniel Chin, and he's a he, he. You know, yes, he's he's Chinese, but he got a little bit of flavor in him, which he's he's from Trinidad. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's, a, it's a nice country, you know. Uh, shout out to everyone in Trinidad there. You know. I know. And um, he's talking today about some really good stuff today that's going to tell people about investing and investments because this guy lives, eats 365 days of a year. He works it, he does it. This is what he does. But I wanted to, you know, touch something on you. I'm going I'm to push you to the max today. <laughs> Okay, push me deep, go on. <laughs> okay, well, you know, you are not a believer in people that go to these investment seminars and learning how to invest their money, correct? Well, I would, I would say, you know, 90 something percent of all the seminars and workshops are divorced, you know, uh, I would say they're really crooks. You know, they take people's <laughs> money Right. And, uh, you, you know, uh, but it is a money making business. Uh, you know, I don't want to say names, but uh, it's, <laughs> we want to yeah, know. <laughs> you know, but I do get the people who come out of the seminars and the workshop, mm -hmm. and then they, when, when, when they uh, come to me to start uh, investing in real estate, they're from a de delusional world. They think it's, it's very easy, but it's very different in real life, uh, the boss. Very different. Yeah. It's, there's no such thing as get rich quick. The things they teach in those seminars and the workshop. So, but a lot of people gravitate to those things. They do because they market it very well. I mean, I mean, look at uh, you know some of the stars on HGTV. They use their brands and then they you know market uh, you know how you can renovate like my <laughs> homes and, and these things. But uh, in reality, that's not how you really make money. Okay. Yeah. So you you had mentioned to me off air and stuff like that that some people who want to buy a home yes. are saving for their home that they um they take their money that they're supposed to invest mm -hmm. in there or could use as a down payment as you said and went to one of these courses oh yeah they charge as little well they suck you in the free <laughs> seminar uh you come and then after when you sign up, you have to sign up for the whole week. They upsell you. It's a money-making business at the boss. When I started my education, I went to the library. I read books for free and uh, I was a voracious reader, right? Uh, you don't have to really go to the seminars unless, you know, for some reason, uh, you're not that confident. But I do, I, I do believe that, you know, that money spent uh, getting that education and they can range from as little as you know, five thousand as much as twenty or thirty thousand dollars. Twenty, thirty thousand dollars going to, going to before you buy your home that yes. you're going in there and you're putting that money down. Yes, I've heard. You know, that's the membership fees. You know, I've heard Shh. with uh, uh, there's there's this guy Scott McGilvery. They have a key spire. They charge about twenty thousand. They what? have uh, other other um, you know education companies like Rain Real Estate Investment Network. They you know uh, some have exited they you know did not renew their membership because the value is not there mm. and uh, you know the business has they, they really they, they really market the business and it's a money-making business the boss. wow yeah. well what I'm thinking what I'm thinking like a lot of people they put their money they do all these things and they, you know and you've been doing this a long time like Daniel he's extraordinary he's a guy you know and reason why he's called a millionaire investor Daniel Chin is he takes care of his parents right <laughs> he takes care of his parents he came from the banking industry but he didn't do that he went against the grain with all his family and stuff he went against the grain and said you know what I'm doing investments and he got a lot of rebuttal for that with his family, right? Yes. So every interview, the boss always <laughs> says the same thing. But what I would say, the boss, is really and, and, and truly, uh, the mind have to be thinking okay. like a millionaire. 
Right. And you know, it's not something that you can just, you know, all of a sudden wake up the next morning and then, you know, start thinking like a wealthy person. But uh, to, you have, you, when I started off, the first book I read was Think and Grow Rich from Napoleon Hill. Okay. And you know, some of the things that I read there, it made sense to me about, you know, how to, how to, uh, how, um, the, 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 how you become wealthy. Wealthy, right. So, 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 so it's really, you have to, uh, when, you, when you're thinking that way, and you, you know, like I mentioned to one of the gentlemen that there in the background, yeah. uh, you know, there was a book called from Malcolm Gladwell, an uh, outlier, you spend 10,000 hours in, 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 your, in, in what it is you're doing, mm -hmm. right? And then you become great at it. So, so it's no different than when it comes to creating wealth or if you want to, you know, run as fast as Usain Bolt, right? That's the thinking and the mindset that you need when it comes to achieving success. Right. And also, um, can you tell us about people and their disbeliefs with the um, RSPs and the GICs and what's all that? Yes, yeah, so I'll tell you by example. I did a presentation September 25th in Hamilton, mm -hmm. right? It was called Hacking the Risk of Real Estate Investing. And in that, uh, in that room, there was a gentleman named Ron. He was about 51 years old and he has a family and, you know, and children as well. And it was very interesting, the boss, that he said, 51-year-old guy, mm -hmm. and he has a few rental properties in Hamilton, but he says, Chen, I do not believe in RSPs. <laughs> I, you know, he, he put the money in the RSPs, tax savings account, and, you know, after so long, after doing it, you realize how the tax game works. You either get tax on the back end or the front end. So, you know, and, and, and when you're at that age, and of course, when you're doing it for a long time, and then you see, you know, your accountant tells you how much tax you got to pay the tax guy. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, a, yeah, it's a wake up call because, mm -hmm. you know, it's your hard earned money. And then the, all of that money going to the government and then the government spends it in the wrong places, building out some of the big companies like GM, who's exiting the end of this year. Wow. You know, it really, you know, the taxpayers, it, it has you really thinking differently coming uh, for next month's October election. Are you going to still vote for Trudeau or not? Okay. Well, you know, what, what do you suggest the people to do with um, their money? Like instead of investing in RSPs and stuff like that? Well, I, well, 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 I would say invest in real estate though. <laughs> You invest in real estate, invest in what you understand very well. Okay. Right. And uh, if you don't understand, they can come and ask you, correct? For in real estate, absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm um, you know, very, very uh, open, very reachable, um, but ultimately really invest in what you understand very well. Like I do not understand cryptocurrencies. You know, some people became uh, millionaires investing in cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. Um, some people, you know, did very well investing in cannabis when it was legalized October last year. Okay. But real estate is something very easy for me to understand, you know, and, uh, you know, that's what I do every day. Well, we yeah, we that. know that's what you do every day. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to get you on a personal note now. You know, <laughs> you know, he, he's been on my show before and, you know, I don't know if he has somebody yet or what's going on. So I want to find out what's going on <laughs> with him. Well, I, I knew you were going to You got all that, that money, you know what I mean? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask that question, the boss, you know? We spoke about it off the camera, you know? Uh, but, you know, I would say, uh, you know, uh, I'm no expert on that subject. <laughs> right? I'm no expert on that subject. When it comes to relationship, you know, 80%... Uh, relationship? Oh, my gosh. 80% of everyone I deal with, the boss, uh, they're women, right? So for some reason, women, you know, uh, I work very well with them. And, uh, you know, 75% uh, uh, you know, of everyone who works with me, they're all women. Uh -huh. I would say they work much better than men. Uh -huh. But when it comes to, you know, and sometimes they give me advice on these things. Uh, <laughs> No, it's true. Well, you said you had somebody mature come after you, so I want to know about that one. Well, I'll leave that to them. <laughs> well, after the yeah, interview, I think it's a number, right? We'll probably talk. But, uh, you know, <laughs> probably so. Yeah. But it, it happens, it happens. Sometimes when, you know, you're very, you know, you're young or you have that, uh, that image, you're successful, and then 
you know you have the money you know you tend to shine and you know you attract sometimes very beautiful women uh -huh. and sometimes they but you need someone has something in, up in here too you know he, he doesn't want to look, be look, looking good and there's nothing going on inside absolutely and i think uh, you know a few years ago when i did an interview with you and that time i was single the boss <laughs> asked me the same question and i said she she, she, she asked me wedding. what would you like uh, what do you look for in a woman i, I said you know, she has to be very smart and beautiful. Uh -huh. And, you know, I did find one over the past uh, two years, uh, mm. you know, but uh, I would leave that for another day. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's, it's very complicated, the boss. I, it's very complicated. Yeah. Well, you're not, well, you, you're complicated a bit too, so. <laughs> you know, well, it's uh, the, the life of an entrepreneur. It's, uh, it's, 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 you know. Because you work 368 days a year. Sometimes you don't have a balance. Uh, uh, you know, and that's just the life of an entrepreneur. I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do for, for the business to survive, in, especially in these changing times. So, you know, sometimes it could really hurt relationships or even your marriages. Mm. So, so, but I think uh, if you, you know, if the, the, the money is good and the business is good, I think every, everything else in life uh, could be good as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, can you tell people where to find you, that people that have never seen you before so they know where to find you at? Sure, you can Google me, Daniel Chin, C-H-I-N, not Michael Lee Chin, Daniel Chin. <laughs> <laughs> or you can simply, you know, Google my company, uh, Chin Properties, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll find me shortly. Okay, well, you know, everybody, follow him, like, in your Instagram? Instagram as well. Because uh, there's a lot of chins out there, so you got to get the right chin. Yes, Daniel P, as in Paul, Chin, C-H-I-N. Or you can just call the boss and she'll be sent you. Or you look for Trinidadian. <laughs> Trinidadian chin. <laughs> but anyways, you know, I do want to thank you for coming again. You know, and, and explain to people some of those things that, you know, that those myths. And, you know, he does stand up with what he says. So I want to thank you. And, you know, everybody, don't forget to follow me on uh, DBoss uh, underscore one Instagram. You can uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, D Boss uh, Networks. Just subscribe, follow me, support me, and support the people that come on because this is good. But, anyways, I want to do thank you for everybody for watching today. And um, so, bye for now.